This is the review video for mink dissection muscle groups 5 through 7. Um, after I review each muscle group with you, then I'll give you a brief quiz where I'll point to a muscle. I'll wait three seconds for you to answer on your own, and then I will tell you the answer. For muscle group 5, we're going to start with the abdomen. And the first structure that you need to know is a white line that runs down the center of the mink. This line is called the linea alba. The linea alba. And on either side of the linea alba, bilateral to it, is a muscle that also runs cranial and caudal. This is called the rectus abdominis. Now, the rectus abdominis doesn't just stop at uh, this line. Um, some of it is going to continue underneath this more superficial muscle. You notice that the um, fibers of this muscle are running at a diagonal. <coughs> this muscle is called the external abdominal obliques. The external abdominal obliques. You can even see the external abdominal obliques <coughs> up here underneath the latissimus dorsi. So these also are external abdominal obliques. <coughs> when you lift up the seam where the external abdominal obliques meet the rectus abdominis, you're able to see the rest of the rectus abdominis here. But then, as you look more laterally, you'll see that there was another seam right here. The muscle that creates that seam of fascia is called the internal abdominal obliques. Deep to the internal abdominal obliques and even running deep to the rectus abdominis, we have another muscle that runs um, across. These muscle, this muscle is called the transversus abdominis. So here's a quiz on the structures. I'll point, I'll give you three seconds to answer and then I will tell you the answer. This structure here, the white line that runs through the center of the abdomen. This is the linea alba. This muscle. External abdominal obliques. This muscle. Rectus abdominis. This muscle, transversus abdominis, this muscle. Internal abdominal obliques. Okay, and that's it for muscle group five, the abdomen. Let's go on to muscle group six the leg. <clears throat> We're going to uh, first go through the lateral aspect of the leg and then we'll do the medial aspect of the leg. This first thin strip of a muscle that, come, that starts at the base of the tail and wraps around the leg, this is called the semitendinosus. The semitendinosus. Next to that, you have a large triangular shaped muscle. This muscle is called the biceps femoris. The biceps femoris. Up here, you have another muscle. This is called the gluteus maximus. Below that, you have a very thin muscle that was attached by this thin strip of fascia to the knee. 
This muscle is called the tensor fascia lata. The tensor fascia lata. Deep to the tensor fascia lata, we have another large muscle. This is called the vastus lateralis. The vastus lateralis. Finally, running on top of the thigh, you can see this. It looks like a thin strip of muscle, but we'll see the rest of it when we turn the mink over. This is called the sartorius. The sartorius. So now I'm going to flip the mink so that we're looking at the medial aspect of the thigh. I just need to put him back together here. On the medial aspect of the thigh, we see once again the top muscle here is called the sartorius. And below that, we have another wide band muscle called the gracilis. This muscle is very well defined in dancers, therefore it's called the dancer's muscle, and dancers are graceful, so that's how you can remember the gracilis. Our last muscle that you should be able to find is the calf muscle. And I think you can see it best from the lateral aspect. This here is the gastrocinemius the gastrocinemius. Okay, let me quiz you on these um, <coughs> superficial muscles first. This muscle? Gluteus maximus. This muscle? The semi-tendinosis. This muscle? The sartorius. This muscle? The tensor fascia lata. This muscle? The vastus lateralis. This muscle. The gastrocinemius. And this muscle. The biceps femoris. On the lateral, on the medial aspect of the leg, this muscle, the gracilis, and this muscle. the sartorius. Okay, now we're going to move on to the medial muscles of, uh, the deeper muscles of the leg located on the medial side. So for that we have to reflect our sartorius and our gracilis. Um, and I'm going to slip this mink so that we're looking at them like so.
Okay. This first muscle that we saw from the lateral view wraps around the, the leg and it's going to attach to the bone here. This is the semitendinosus. The semitendinosus. The next muscle that is superior to it is called the semimembranous. The semi excuse me, the semimembranosus. The semimembranosus. The next muscle above that is the adductor femoris. Adductor femoris. Next to that, this is the adductor longus. The adductor longus. This tiny little pie shaped muscle, pie slice muscle here deep within the leg, this is called the pectineus. The pectineus. You can see it if I do that better, I think. There, the, the probe is on top of the pectineus, and now it's uh, next to it. This muscle here is the vastus medialis. The vastus medialis. And at the very top here, we have the rectus femoris. The rectus femoris. Okay, it's time for a little quiz. Identify this muscle. Sorry, this one right here. The pectineus. This one. This one here. The adductor longus. This one. This is the one that rides along the very top of the thigh. The rectus femoris. And this muscle. The vastus medialis. This muscle. Semi tendinosus. This muscle. The semi membranosus. And this muscle. The adductor femoris. Okay, and that's all for muscle group six. Let's move on to muscle group seven. Okay, we start with muscle group seven <coughs> by separating away um, the cranial aspect of the lateral head of the triceps and flipping it up. And this very first muscle here that we see is the brachialis. The brachialis. This is the one that is just um, next to the clavodeltoid. This little strip of a muscle here that lies on top of the forearm is called the brachioradialis. The brachioradialis. The next four muscles that are adjacent to the brachioradialis are all called extensors. So here's extensor one, extensor two, extensor three, and extensor four. You don't need to know their names, you just need to say that they are extensors. And then next to those, you have two flexors, 
flexor one and flexor two. You don't need to put the one and the two. I'm just pointing out that there are two flexors on the lateral side of the arm and there are four extensors. Um, from this point, you can also see, um, I know that this is in your picture. This is the medial head of the triceps, um, but you're not, um, you're not responsible for knowing this view of the medial head of the triceps. You only need to be able to identify that from the medial aspect of the arm. So if I flip our mink over so that we can see those muscles. This first muscle here is the biceps brachii the biceps brachii and next to it we have the medial head of the triceps the medial head of the triceps this muscle here is the dorsal epitrochlearis but in your picture it's been cut away so that's why you don't see it on the forearm itself again we see the brachioradialis this thin strip of muscle right here the brachioradialis. Next to that, you have two extensors. So just always remember that next to the brachioradialis, you have two ext you have extensors. Even on the other side, the extensors were next to the brachioradialis. Then you have a pit, and a little bit of a division, and then the rest of these muscles are flexors. So flexors are on the medial aspect of the forearm and the extensors are more prevalent on the lateral aspect of the forearm. So let's do our little quiz. Now we're looking at the lateral aspect of the arm, so that's the first thing that you need to decide when you're looking at a mink. This muscle. That's a flexor. This muscle, this little strip. This is the brachioradialis. This muscle. This is an extensor. And this muscle. This is the brachialis. These muscles, these are flexors. This muscle, this little strip, this is the brachial radialis. This muscle, the biceps brachii. These muscles, extensors. And this muscle, the triceps medial head. Okay, study well. Those are all the muscles that you need to know for Mink Practical 2.